in the Reagan years uh, as national security advisor, I could see that once the Cold War was behind us, that the enduring threat was radical Islam. And I began to look around for think tanks. And before long, it was evident that ISW, and specifically Dr. Kim Kagan, really understood this as a scholar, but also as a hands-on battlefield analyst. Oh, I think it's amazing what, what Kim Kagan has been able to do to build up this institute from scratch and to turn it into an incredibly valuable resource, not only for the public, but also for policymakers and for military commanders who are implementing policy on the ground. The Institute for the Study of War was um, one of the first and only think tanks at this level, at the policy level, that was actually explaining, I think, the tactical games being made by the new strategies that battalion and brigade commanders were applying in Iraq. For me, it's just the availability that ISW and Dr. Kagan and her staff uh, has been able to uh, provide all members of Congress with men and women sacrificing their life and limb in foreign lands so that we, the policymakers, know how to best make the decisions for them moving forward. ISW certainly has a, a major impact in policy circles, for example, in explaining the surge in Iraq and pushing for the surge in Iraq. In the case of Iraq, the Institute for the Study of War was basically the only organization within D.C. that was actually reporting on what the surge was, what effects it was having, and certainly guiding policy decisions because of just the unique nature of what they produce. I know that's something that commanders appreciate because it provides them information and puts it together in a way that they don't necessarily get even from their highly classified intelligence. Uh, so I think it's been a remarkable success story for the little think tank that could, and that is providing a real uh, service uh, to the national security community and to the national security of the United States. The Institute for the Study of War holds a unique position, I think, in sort of the analytical future of both policy and operations in Iraq. When I was traveling around uh, Afghanistan and they were able to present the work that ISW had done in charting uh, networks of influence in Kandahar, which in many ways put them ahead of where I think the U.S. government was. Analyst Kimberly Kagan of the Institute for the Study of War. Uh, there is always the potential. Carissa Cochrane Sullivan is the Deputy Director of the Institute for the Study of War. Jeff Dressler of the Institute for the Study of War in Washington recently visited Afghanistan. Kimberly Kagan is the President of the Institute for the Study of War. Do you expect to see visible changes? I think that every general makes adjustments. With the press being what it is, um, this is discussed on a daily basis on almost every major network. And, you know, we've heard, you know, pretty loud and clear that the American public is confused and concerned about our involvement and the length of our involvement uh, in this particular uh, venue. I think the more that we can bring out uh, the real issues and get the American public to understand that what we're doing uh, is, is not only good for the country that we're involved in, but it's good for America, I think it's an important thing. The, the writing that is done at ISW on um, Afghanistan, uh, on say the Haqqani network, those documents, those writings have an effect on people's understanding of the environment there and, and the larger picture. It's certainly impacting um, those decision makers. I think that the ISW's role m most importantly for me is just providing the information and the objective uh, tools that I need as a member of Congress to be able to not only explain to my constituency in a coherent way, but also formulate the opinions that I have when I make those decisive votes on the House floor for how we're going to move forward in, in, in Afghanistan and in other conflicts. The Institute for the Study of War is affecting regional decisions in Afghanistan operationally, strategically. I've just spent the last year and a half in Afghanistan and ran into several soldiers on the ground, you know, lower ranking officers all the way up to brigade commanders and division commanders who are very dedicated to the Institute for the Study of War website, uh, largely because it provides one of the most functional sort of strategic perspectives on how things tie together. The reason they're effective is because they have facts and they bring together information, which it's very hard for somebody who's an outsider to the military to gather. That's been a real missing piece that, that ISW fills. Uh, by connecting the military uh, with the public and with the policymakers. With ISW, I really feel like you know, I'm being presented with the facts and the evidence, and I can make my own conclusion from there. 
ISW certainly has a, a major impact in policy circles. Informative. Extraordinarily useful. Effective. They're the best.